Well, it's uh, Wednesday, September 4th, I believe. It is opening bear hunting in northern Wisconsin. Yep. Waited all summer for this. Yep. Waited 13 years. I was just going to say, waited how many years for this? Yeah, so. <coughs> I get going. We, uh, so they, uh, we are getting loaded up. We got to move with the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a little bit harder moving around with the backpack, huh? If I can get back in the chair, but I'm stuck. We got our chauffeur Rachel here. Yep, she's gonna drive them out so the truck's not sitting out there. Yeah, they all got up quarter to five in the morning. Got the hound dog. I was Whew, I'm already beat. Yeah. All right, you guys be safe so and we're gonna head out. Yep. And, uh, we'll see you in the tree stand. Is it 522? 522 is half hour before opener. And we got uh, right in our four or five hundred yards walk, roughly. And uh, we just checked the camera. There's no bears on there right now, so we're gonna take our time and just ease in there. Yeah, nice and slow. Yeah. They were there at three o'clock this morning, so they could be laying anywhere. So we're just gonna tip our way in and get set up. Should be in plenty early, so we'll see you in the stand.
You got him, buddy. You got him. Stay, stay on him. <laughs> I tried zoom, zooming in through the tree here. Just hold on. Watch him. Don't let him get up. Hang on. I think you got him good. I thought I heard a branch break and I, I looked too. back here twice and I'm like, I don't see anything. I looked back then. then. Hmm? I must have a big bear on then. That's a decent one. Very decent. Hey buddy, nice shooting. Oh my God. See, I think he got our win because it was exactly the way we said that he wasn't. You know, if they come in, they're going to wind us, and of course, he's got to come in from there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't think he's moving. <laughs> That's one excited young man there. Oh boy, am I excited, man. I hope he's nice. Oh, that's a nice bear. When I seen him, I thought, oh boy, that's a big bear. Yeah, he, he had some pretty, he's got a good good body on him. Long. And long, yeah. That's one of the nice ones that we've been seeing. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't know what time it is. What we got? Eight hours, nine hours. <laughs> Sitting. Two or three. So we were in here at 5.30ish, so... Eight and a half hours. Eight and a half hours, and we got it done. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, dude. Yeah, you are. Your call has been forwarded. Hello? What's up? I shot one. Are you sure? We, we yeah, had a nice one. Yeah, a nice one? Yeah. I, I think so, I don't know. Sorry, that was Booty's watching TV because we were going to take a nap, so he swiped it up because it was you. Oh, <laughs> that's all right. Yeah, so, come here, come here. Come here. Where's come Grandma? Here. I got one. Nice! He shot, they shot deer. I think it's a big one, I'm not sure. You want cameras off? Yeah. Lower everything down? Yep, I got the bull lower down in my backpack. i unclip from this. Oh man, that was the most beautiful sight. That was Looking pretty. over and seeing him peeking around there. All trying not to make any sudden movements in it's like Holy shit, he's right here. You don't have this on there, huh? Okay. You don't have anything on this green strap? Nope. Okay. Did you know, like, when I started tapping you? I knew right away. As soon as you were tapping, you didn't have to say it. I started looking like, where? I'm like, I'm looking over here. I'm like, because I just thought I heard something, and I looked to here, but I can't see that. Yeah. You know, I'm looking over here how many times, you know. First walk up on it. He looks nice laying there. He was up by this pine tree, right? 
Right, right here, in right? here. Yeah, he was right in yeah, here. Just, when <laughs> yeah, we were right up through here, so we had no shot. That's a big one. That's a nice bear. That's a dandy. Come get in with me. Yeah. It's going. Here he is, folks. Tell us how many years you've been waiting to... 13 years since I shot my last bear. 13 years it took to get the tag. And, uh... Boy, that's a big head. Big head, big bear. Biggest bear we've ever got in our family here, I, I would say, with confidence, don't you think? Yeah. All the miles running, all the hours, all the work that we put into baiting all summer, time away, it all came down to one moment. I wanted to shoot him with the bow, but he was coming in and we knew I was dropping little fuzzies. I'm like, that wind's coming right here. This is, there's only one trail here, if he comes on that trail, he's in a window, and of course that's where he came. Yeah. So I, exactly right behind us, because all of a sudden he stopped, and when he started smelling that wind, he knew right away. It was like, grab the gun, grab the gun, or we're I'm so get glad I had the old 4570 with me because the old one, you just new, got that new. one. <laughs> Pop the cherry out of that. <laughs> I'm so glad I brought the gun with because as soon as he, as soon as it seemed like he was getting our wind and he wasn't going to stick around, I picked the gun up and. I kind of, I wasn't sure if I was going to get a shot with that even the way he was moving to get out of here, but he's right on this trail. He died right here where the camera is. And uh, I put a perfect shot on him. Dropped him right in his tracks. Couldn't ask for any better. Oh, man. And to have you along with me. Huh? It was an awesome hunt. I wish I could get that one, get one like that with you guys. Every one of you. That would be sweet. Now the work starts. We're going to figure out how we're going to get this guy out of here. <laughs> we're going to have to figure out. We are back in here and it is not pretty. We're about a mile in. The nice thing is he dropped right here. So we know we can get the, to here with a cart or sled or whatever. So. Yeah. Oh, look at that height, huh? Mm -hmm. What a beautiful bear. That is cool. Walking out. Happy campers. <laughs> oh. Starting the season off with a bang. Couldn't have uh, couldn't have asked for it really to go any better. Dropped him in his tracks, and he's a big one. Biggest one that uh, I think in our family that we've ever got. So yeah, pretty happy. We're making the trek out now. We're gonna go get the four wheeler, the trailer all the, the gear to get them out of here so we'll uh we'll take you back in when we go to get them out all right we got back into them with the sled and we'll pop off we're gonna get them loaded up here get this thrown on here get them loaded in the sled As you've seen, we got the bear back last night and uh, got it out. 
and we got them packed on ice. But uh, just kind of doing a little recap. Last night we hung out and celebrated, had some drinks, relaxed, showered, went to bed at a decent time. We were pretty well shot from the day's events, but couldn't ask for much better. Um, you know, nice bear. Uh, having dad there along with me for the hunt was pretty special. That was the best part of all of it. And uh, it went good. It was fairly easy getting them out. I mean, the heavy bear, so <clears throat> it was a little bit of work, but wasn't too bad. And then uh, Don and Lynn were here last night to help get them gutted out and packed on ice and celebrate with us. So, yeah. Mike is coming up tonight to see the bear and help us clean them. Right now we just got them in the shed here at the AC running and we just got them packed on ice. Man, nice bear. Got them packed on ice here, keep them good and cold. Came and checked it right away this morning, there's still a lot of, a lot of ice, so he's good. So yeah, we uh, like I said, Mike's coming up tonight. I'm probably gonna clean them tomorrow. Today we're gonna I'm just getting ready now. We're gonna head out and get all the stands and cameras and all that stuff taken down. Now that we're done for the season, probably switch all the cameras that we had on the deer bait. Switch them to areas that we're gonna be on the I had cameras on the bear baits. We're going to switch them to areas that we're going to be deer hunting to start seeing what's around for, for gun season and any kind of fall bow hunting we're going to do. So, yeah, pretty excited. We got a lot of work ahead of us yet. Cleaning out or uh, going to get in all the stands and the cameras and all the stuff from the bear baits and then cleaning the bear up. But it's all fun stuff from here on out. I feel really blessed and just grateful for the opportunity. So... Yeah, couldn't have went much better and what a what a way to kick off the fall season. Well, I am almost to bear camp. Why is that you ask? We got a bear down. Yeah, old Nicky boy got it done. So uh yeah, I'm heading up here, check the bear out. I'll be helping cut it up, and uh, I think we're gonna take some of our cameras that we had set out for uh, on the bear baits and uh, go put them out in the woods to see what we can uh, do some more deer scouting. I've been getting quite a few bucks on camera the last couple of days. It's pretty exciting. I uh, I'm actually contemplating coming up here for bull hunting more because. Quite frankly, we got more bucks on camera here than we do at home. But, uh, no, I'm super excited to see Nick's bear. I am just so thankful that he had a much better experience than I did two years ago where I sat and sat and sat and sat and, uh, nothing happened. But, hey, that's in the past. Flying Eagle's moving forward. We got one down. We, uh... Got one more tag in the group here. Chris is still out, so hopefully she can connect on one. But I just had a deer run across the road. Uh, well, the deer herd is looking good. I know we say that every year, but I don't know. I've been seeing a lot of deer moving around, and just on my way up, I've been taking all the back roads on my way up here, and uh, there's just deer loaded in every field. So fingers crossed. I mean, the herd's got to start coming back eventually. If we do something about them damn big puppy dogs. But, uh, alright. Well, we will, uh, catch you up to camp. Alright, we got the bear officially weighed. And look who came to camp. Is this the Osmondson Bear Camp? Yes, it is. Real famous Osmondson Bear Camp? Well, I don't know about that, but... It's bear camp for sure. We got the bear hanging, we got the weight. What's the official weight? 225. 225.2 dressed out. Good bear. What do you think, Booney? 
So we got uh, Uncle Mike came up to camp, helped me take care of the bear. We're gonna get it uh, pulled out here. We got a nice breeze, so we'll dry it up quick and take some nice pictures with the family. And uh, we'll either get it packed back on ice or get it scun out right away. I don't think we get it scun out and quartered. Yep. Yeah, that'll be the plan. So, yeah, thanks for coming up. I appreciate it. Hey, every 12, 13 years when someone shoots a bear, you got to celebrate it, right? That's right. So, yeah, I was happy to get it weighed. And, uh, yeah. It's a nice bear. Thanks. Real nice bear. Thanks, buddy. I can't get over the size of them paws. Yeah, he's got yeah. some big mitts. Yeah. <laughs> I don't got a little hand. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big old, big old boar. Yep. Glad to so. see all that work we did on the uh, 4570 site Daddy. and your end paid off. That's right. <clears throat> you playing, Booney Bear? <laughs> that thing really put a, yeah. really put a hurting on him. There's the entrance hole. That was a, yeah, a heck of a wall up there. Yeah. I know, looking back and watching that video, I'm like, wow, I said that the thing wallops like six times, I think, to get the point of wallops. Yep, <laughs> yep. So, yeah, now we're going to get it laid on and get some nice pictures. Daddy! We just got done snapping some photos with the family and with Mike, and uh, we got them laid out here looking nice. We noticed this after we shot him. This big chunk out of his... End and he's got a, a gouge up here. He's got another one. There was two of them up was here. Was there two up here? One on either side of it. And then there was one down here, there, there. Pretty good gouges. And this here is kind of nasty looking. Yeah, I don't know what uh, if anybody's ever seen that. That's so now your big buck fighting. that we shot last gun season yep. had similar markings on Very his back similar. leg. So we thought maybe it was wolves grabbing it or something, but what are you guys any uh, ideas of what it could be? Shoot them, uh, shoot some comments out there for us. Yeah, I mean I don't know if people have seen that where bears are fighting and they get that because definitely looks like these gash marks are looks like teeth marks, teeth or something. Yeah, but that's definitely uh, a yeah, sore a sore butt. Yeah, you hear it playing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, took advantage of the nice sunny day and. Yeah, get some nice pictures of it. Yeah, bud. The log rolled all the way down there, didn't it? Why? I don't know, bud. Why? Yeah, so now we're gonna, we're gonna get them all cleaned up and get them put in the cooler, get ready for processing. Caped out and quartered up and yeah. maybe we'll throw some bear steaks on the grill. I think we might have to. It sounds pretty good. Like yeah. I said, it's only every like 13 years you get a bear up at at least where we are here so you got to cherish every moment of it yep that's for sure yeah he's on a leaf fall that means our favorite time of the year is here buddy 